Hi, um, today I'm going to do the um, cool tool I was telling you back a while ago. Um, I bought it at the, um, the quilt show in Houston. And um, basically what it is, it's a, um, uh, a uh, crystal uh, setting device. Um, I bought the whole set. It was like um, $41 and... Um, 95 cents, something like that. But it come, it came with five tools, and this is basically what it is. It's just a um, uh, a hot iron uh, a fixer, and you have detachable tools on it. This is the single crystal a fixer, um, and um, then you've got your small cluster a fixer which will affix as many crystals that could fit underneath depending on the size of your crystals. But that's the um, one of, that's the small cluster if, you, if you're uh, 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 going to apply a bunch of crystals. Then you have your large cluster which is this big one here. You've got a little ironing tool that you can use to iron your doll clothes. If you have little detail work you can take this and iron this. This is a um, is called her applique tool, and this is um, she calls that the applique tip. It's freezer paper applique technique and fusible ribbon, and um, those are the five tips that are included. She has a website online. I think it's called um, oh gosh, does she have it here? Yeah, Sherry'sCrystals.com. The um, <coughs> the gun itself, the heat gun was um, online. It was eighteen ninety five for the tool. Uh, it also comes with a pair of tweezers, which is what she uses to affix her um, um, crystals onto her uh, garment. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. This is an eight dollar pair of um, <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. This is an $8 pair of um, uh, uh, tweezers, but it's really nice. Um, I got this set. This was part of the... Uh, I got the whole kit. So this was $41. I got a set of crystals, the little crystal uh, holder for um, putting crystals um, out, the tweezers for picking up and hearing your crystals, and then... Um, the holder so that, that this is your rester so that when the uh, tool heats up you can rest it. So I'm going to just um, finish up this pair of Levi's I made. So I'm going to do a single a single crystal application so I'm taking this. Um, some of the um, crystal devices um, come with uh, about seven different tips and what that is is they, there's a hole in the tip here where you take the crystal and you fit the crystal in with a little hole here so you can push the crystal out and you actually watch the glue heat up on that um, but uh, the problem with that is sometimes those crystals get stuck inside these tips so um, this is uh, she calls it the cool tool so it's supposed to be guaranteed not to burn any of your fabric so um, I've only tried it. This is all I've done so far. This and a blouse. I'll show you the blouse in a minute. But let me get the um, tool plugged in so it can start heating up. So um, I'm going to put that underneath because I think it holds better in the... Well, let me try it this way. See if I can get this around so it can hold, stay up there. Okay, so let me put it this way. It does not want to stay on this here. Okay, there it is flat. I also got a free gift, which was a pearl treasure pendant. It's very pretty. I don't know if I'll ever put it together. Because number one, I don't have the jewelry. Um, you have to have a bunch of jewelry um, tools in order to put these together. But it's that, um, I can't pronounce that. It's um, Swarovski's, Swarovski's crystals. But that's one of the, I think that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? But it just shines in the. I don't know if you can see that in the. But that is just gorgeous. I don't know what I'll do with it, but maybe someday I'll get the tools and be able to put it together. We'll see. But that was a free gift if I bought the whole kit, which I did. 
Okay, so um, I've tried the crystals on a couple things now. I'm not going to use yellow, but let me put these yellows back in. And on the bottom of these crystals, you'll see a, um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get this close. On the bottom of the crystals, you're going to see a, it looks silver almost. It is silver. And what that is, is it's um, heat-activated glue. And once you heat that up, that glue is going to bubble and it's going to um, adhere onto your fabric. Um, supposedly the nice thing about this um, this kind of tip is that you're pressing the crystal down into the fabric and that way it will adhere better to the um, uh, 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 fibers in the fabric whereas if it's just a surface heat uh, it's not going to last through as many washings. At least that's what was one of their selling points on uh, these flat, uh, flat applica uh, applica uh, applica applicators. Okay, so I started already on this. I did half of the um, jean pocket. I did regular pockets on these on these jeans, and I didn't line them up. So now I'm going to try and do the same on the opposite pocket. Um, if I was going to do this next time, I'd probably put a piece of. Um, freezer paper. I'd probably adhere a piece of freezer paper and uh, uh, figure, calculate how many, how much space I need between each one of these instead of just trying to do it on my own um, because I really did make a mess of it. So um, anyway, I need, um, I'm using white and blue on this one so I'm going to go and get some blue. I need, oops, I just lost all my yellow crystals. this again. These are those, um, I'll try and pronounce it again, Swarovski crystals. Swarovski's, Swarovski's, Swarovski's crystals. That's terrible. That's terrible. Hard to pronounce. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to need some, um, here's another one. What's that, yellow? I'm going to need some plain silver, which is here. One, two, three, plain white crystals. I need three of those. So I got three of those out. Okay, and then for the, the blue, I'm going to need four. Okay, so there's the four for that. Okay, so on the instructions, it says that... Um, use tweezers, place your crystal in your desired position, place the tool on top of the crystal and hold in place for approximately 8 seconds for 10 SS crystals or 12 seconds for 16 SS crystals. And then it just says tip becomes very hot, not recommended for children under 12. But um, I think this might be hot enough so far, so let's go ahead. I also did a, um, I don't know what's going on with um, these um, uh, sequins, but every time I buy a grab bag anymore, there's always a bag of sequins in there. So I just took a bag, and um, this wasn't the bag, but I just started putting them all together. And I thought, well, it must be coming back in style. So what I did was I took um, a um, blouse that I made. This is just a t-shirt out of that purple fabric I just got at the... Um, uh, uh, thrift shop and I designed, I just did a flower because I had some leaves and butterflies and then I just did a flower and then if, and then I thought I'd try applying uh, uh, the, um, I just uh, sewed them on one at a time. I didn't, uh, the only thing I did a, a running stitch on was the green um, uh, stem because, um, uh, you know, they were close enough together whereas the rest were pretty far apart. But anyway, I took some purple, um, Crystals, and I did a set. Of, I did six crystals around the flower to give it a little bit more shine. And um, I, I, when I sewed my um, sequins on, I used a bead. I, I went up, put a bead on it, and went back down and, and to hold the um, uh, crystals on. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably use green thread on the green, and um, I'd try and match the thread fabric up uh, better than I did. On, on this one so you won't see the white but that was my first I just freehanded a, a flower I didn't use a pattern or anything I just 
pretty much threw it together. But I did notice that when I put these crystals on the t-shirt fabric, um, that it, um, I didn't, I put paper on this time, whereas last time I was right on my ironing surface, and it actually, the glue actually went through and uh, attached itself not only to the t-shirt fabric, but it also um, adhered itself to my ironing surface. So it did go all the way through. So you know that the glue is going through those fibers. But um, that was just something I thought I'd try it on the uh, t-shirt fabric. Okay, so um, first thing I'm going to do is I got my little ruler out. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to mention too was um, I finished the lips on this doll last night. I put some. They said that if you're going to use a uh, regular acrylic paint to coat it with some kind of um, varnish or finish, so I put the varnish on the doll's lips and got that finished. And I did her eyebrows. I didn't do these little eyelashes because I don't know if they're going to stay on or not. But um, she's finished as far as her face goes. And then I was looking at um, Meredith's hair that I got just the other day. And her hair is so yellow. I didn't realize how yellow her hair was until I put her up next to this, this doll. Can you see the difference? This doll's a real blonde. And Meredith has got some really yellow tint in her hair. I think she probably would have been prettier if she was more blonde than yellow. I mean, but her hair is okay if she's by herself, but if you put her up next to a real blonde, you can tell that there's a real heavy yellow tint to her hair. I think she would have been, I mean, she's pretty, but I think she would have been prettier if she was more blonde than yellow. But um, that's the, um, the blonde, I love this blonde color. I think her hair is beautiful. It's, uh, I think she was just gorgeous hair. Look at how gorgeous that hair is. Beautiful. And it was a rat's nest when I got it. So I'm going to try that downy now that I know you can use that downy um, fabric softer on doll hair. I had no idea. I probably could have saved a lot more of their hair if I would have known that because I just pulled and pulled and pulled with the combs and the brushes trying to get the, um, the knots out. But anyway, I'm going to use this um, uh, so I can sort of eyeball and measure across as far as where the placement is going to be on these. Uh, second set of crystals. So I'm going to lay my um, um, pair of um, jeans down flat and my first color is going to be this blue one. So I'm going to, um, I don't know if you can see on the, um, I did a double line of stitching. You probably can't because I used white thread. But I did a double line of, um, maybe, a double line and I'm putting those crystals right between that double line of sewing. So here's the first one which is blue. So I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to line it up between those two lines of stitching and I'm going to try and set it uh, across from the opposite one. Okay, let me see if I can move a little bit closer so you can see better. Let me see if you can see. I can smell the heat on the um, heating gun. So anyway, I'm going to um, take this I think it's hot enough, and I'm going to, uh, um, if you feel like you think that the crystal's going to move, you can hold onto the crystal with your um, tweezers and make sure that it doesn't shift while you heat it. But I tried this with the first row that I did, and they don't shift, they don't shift on you. So I'm just going to uh, put this down, and I'm going to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and there is my first crystal set into the fabric. I'm gonna let it cool before I try and move it. But yeah, these ones are in there. Okay, so next one is going to be the silver. Are the? I I don't know what you want to call them. They're just the clear white crystals. I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to see if I got it lined up. Yeah, this one should probably come down just a wee bit more. Okay, and I'm going to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so crystal two is in there. Okay, so blue next. 
I'm going to look in the camera real quick so I can see if you can see what I'm doing. No, you really can't. So let me um, turn the camera around. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Let me see if I can move the camera. Okay, that's too low. Hold on a second. Let me see it down. Okay, well, let's see if I can do it by holding my hand. Okay, see how I've got this blue? Let me see. See how I've got the blue crystal here? It's just sitting there. So I'm going to try and line it up with my other blue crystal on the opposite side. So I'm going to take this. When she demonstrated this procedure, she actually held the held the um, <coughs> excuse me the crystal in place with her tweezers. But I can't do two things with this, so I'm going to take this heating tool now, and I'm going to hold it onto the top of that crystal for a count of eight. Let's see if I can do this with a. Okay, I didn't get it. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with my throat today, but um, here is my next lineup. Get my other two blue ones. And I'm going to finish. Sewing those, I mean, uh, heating those up and applying them to the jeans. And that was the whole crystal set. So that was the, um, this was that um, silver button that I got off of that, um, oh, there's a camera. That silver button that I got off of that uh, little girl's uh, Carter dress that I thought was so cute. But anyway, there's your. Um, different colors available. There's a ton of colors available on these crystals. Here's the rest of the tools. Let's see if I can get them open. Okay, so this is your um, small cluster. So if you're doing three crystals, four crystals, whatever, whatever you can fit on the top of that head. Here's for your large crystals. This is for um, According to the instructions, it's your pressing tip, so you can heat that up. And then here's your applique tip. I tried doing small applique with this, it was kind of difficult. Um, if you're going to do like a straight line, it works fine, but if you're going to do little tiny corners for applique, it's, it was hard for me to get my points correct. But I guess um, practice makes perfect. So anyway, there's the... Um, crystals affixed to the pair of jeans and um, <clears throat> don't change the tip on your um, heat tool until it is cooled completely because you will burn yourself. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.